Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you're well. Let's have a look at Andrew's plot to topple the king. Now, we've heard about this in the news. Is there truth to it? Well, he didn't do a very good job. Uh, if, there, if there is truth to it, if he is indeed, if he was indeed working on this. So, uh, well, let's have a look. But, uh, you know, I mean, what do you think? It's, uh, it, it is interesting, I guess, given the sort of the children, Andrew's children, seem to be pretty snuggly with the Sussexes, uh, which in and of itself, you know, is interesting. I mean, you know, just connecting the dots, but, you know, are there really dots to be connected? That's what we're going to ask today, and ask we will. So, number question number one, did or does, did or is Andrew plotting to overthrow King Charles? Is is that or was that on the cards? Let's find out. Cards are hot. Prince of Wands, Prince of Wands, Ten of Swords, mm. Five of Wands, Ten of Coins, and the Three of Wands, underlying energy here, the Four of Wands. Plotting, plotting. Well, It seems that Andrew doesn't like his, uh, this, uh, some of the things you say, you know, it sounds so sort of funny when you say them. It seems that Andrew doesn't like his lot in life. He's disappointed with what he has. I mean, that's pretty, that's profound. That's a profound thing to say. He's He's unhappy with what he has. He's not terribly satisfied, I think, a bit unhappy, a bit disappointed with what thing, the way things have turned out for him or, you know, just the way, just who he is in the position he's in. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, folks. Yeah, let that be known. So what I can see is this is, gener this is being in the underlying energy here, the Four of Cups. This has generated a lot of well, let's say Andrew has attempted, at least, to generate a lot of difficulties here. And he has attempted to cause problems, attempted to cause strife. And, yeah, let that be known. That's pretty much what I see here on this card. You could even read this Ten of Swords as a fairly severe ending card with this Prince of Wands. It's, it's as if... It's as if Andrew wanted to end um, how could I say this the progression of one of, of a prince Man, we typically think of Prince Harry as the you know the Prince of Wands uh, does he have something against Prince Harry? I'm not sure if he has something against Prince Charles, but he's causing problems in the family. I, I can't say, I can't sit here and say to you, the audience, that that the Prince of Wands here is Prince Charles. I can't say that. I can't say that because I've never seen that on the cards. Prince Charles is almost always the King of Cups, the King of Swords, or the Emperor. Now, more so. We saw the Emperor really come up in the last six months, if you recall, in the show. So I can't say that. But what I can say is that it, it looks like he wanted to get someone out of the way, but it wasn't Prince Charles. Yes, Conflict has been generated. Yes, with within the family. Yes, he has a vision. What is the vision? What is the vision? And well, the plot always thickens on famous fortunes, doesn't it? The plot always, well, almost always. Let's say, what is the vision?
cards are hot. You know, I've just had a thought. I've just had a thought. Put these cards down for a sec. Ten of Swords and Prince of Wands. Prince Harry, Ten of Swords. Is Andrew collaborating with Prince Harry? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Just think about the funeral. They were both kind of the outcasty sort of ones. Uh, let it be known. Let's We'll ask that in a second. Uh, what's the vision here? Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands... Four of coins, five of, eh, five, again, five of wands and the ten of wands, uh, ten of pence. Underlying energy, the prince of swords. What on earth is this vision? Look at this, another underlying energy here. Six of cups. So what's the energy? What is the energy? Again, conflict within the families coming up. He wants that sort of a vision, a strife, a, the queen of swords. What on earth would Andrew... Action being taken against a Queen of Swords? Or who would this be? It's not the Queen. It's not the Queen. I mean, the Queen of Swords would be the Princess Royal, Princess Anne. That would be the most likely. It, it's just, it, just to me, I just get Troublemaker vibes from these cards. Wanting to create a lot of trouble. These are really coming from a position of selfishness, really. I think that's the four of coins here. Self-interest, you know, that type of thing. Um, okay, all right. I don't, know if the, I, I don't know if there's a grand vision here of him becoming king or something. That I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing that. Uh, far from it. That's why I say troublemaker vibes. So let's ask the question... Did Prince Andrew team up with Prince Harry somewhere along the line? Are they working together? Or were they? You know what I'm saying? Are they Are they or were they working together? Peculiar card to see that Prince of Wands. Cards are hot. Uh, three of swords, the seven of coins, throwing cards, the strength card, three of coins, the star, nine of cups. Yeah, I don't see a lot. Maybe some collaboration, maybe some with the three of coins, but this is not teamwork. I, I wouldn't call this teamwork. At all, in fact, I wouldn't call it that. Uh, could we call it collaboration? You know, in some way, stronger together. If we sort of work together, looking, you know, someone's looked at this possibility. They've looked at the idea of collaboration and being stronger. This isn't a concrete yes. What does Harry think about working with Andrew? Let's look at it from that perspective. Because Andrew might like that idea. I just don't know if it happened. Mm, curious cards. What is, how can he explain that Prince of Wands and Ten of Swords? What does Prince Harry think about collaborating with Andrew for certain things? Cards are hot. Four of Swords, The World, Page of Swords, King of Swords, Seven of Swords, Underlying Energy, The Judgment. Mm. The, son of, the son of Prince Charles is coming through strongly here. And, you know... Working to undermine, there's a bit of that. There's a bit of that.
you know, it's funny. I kind of, I kind of see on the cards on both sort of sides. It, it's a funny, funny set of readings today because it's kind of that there's something there, like, you know, that, that would be good to do that. It, oh, okay, we could do that, all the rest of it. But I, I just get a lot of inactivity. I get a lot of, you know, delays. And I don't know, could they get their, you know, what together? Could they get their, you know, what together to, to actually do this? Do they have what it takes to actually organize something like this? <laughs> I actually question it with these cards. I can't say that I see a lot of, a lot of that. Maybe there's something, you know, going on you know, we saw the seven of cups as sort of they're looking at different options, but as in terms of a concrete, they're working together on this plan. We're doing X, we're doing Y, we're doing Z, you know, ABC, all the rest of it. I'm I just, I'm not seeing any of it. I'm not seeing any of that. It's sort of, I, I just don't know if they've got it together enough to actually go through with something like this. So from what I see on the cards, um, let's clarify bonus reading. Let's clarify what is meant by the page of wands and the 10 of swords. I still haven't fully, you know, I still don't fully feel I've grasped the meaning of that because it's a very curious set of cards. So let's clarify the page of wands and the 10 of swords. Cards are hot. Page of Swords, the Sun, Four of Wands, the Six of Coins, the Six of Wands, and Judgment. Oh, the Lovers. I was wondering when we were going to see a Lovers conflict here. Five of Wands. So what do we mean? Well, here we have an idea of a partnership. Now, the question is, who's the partnership between? That's <laughs> that's the question. There's a partnership here. Stirring the pot together, perhaps. Well, uh, we've just seen the Page of Swords in reference to the Charles' son. The son, there you go, giving another clue. The cryptic. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure how much I can say on this, to be honest. At this point, I just I don't know if there's a lot here, and I don't think we're getting strong hits. I don't think we're getting strong hits today. So Andrew's plot to topple the king. I mean, that's it's a very very bold news article to go with, and I'm just not sure that we're really seeing anything of, of real value today. Uh, let that be known. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, if you have a question for a future episode, let it be known in the comments and I'll see you in the comment section.